It's a Storyteller Tammany Day! Woo! Yay! So exciting! Our story today is about a girl who just wants a friend. And she's trying everything to make a friend. Let's see what happens. You will be my friend! That's the title. And it's even got an exclamation, so we have to be extra enthusiastic. Mom! Mom! I almost dropped the book there. Don't want to do that. And this is a special book. I haven't, um, I haven't been doing it, but you can borrow these at the library. They're special books that actually read to you. And they can do read-along mode or you can do learning mode. They're great books. Mom! Lucy was very excited when she woke up. Mom, I've decided I'm going to make a new friend today. Isn't that exciting? Mm-hmm. She's very excited. <laughs> and the mom looks happy. That is exciting, Lucille. But how do you plan on finding a new friend? Mom, the forest is crawling with fun critters. Surely one of them will want to be my friend. This is going to be great. So Lucy went outside to begin her search. Good luck, Lucille. Bye, Mom. I cannot wait to make a new friend. We're going to do cartwheels and have picnics and climb trees and go swimming and have a dance party. Oh, she's making me so excited. I'm dancing around. I need to sit still so you can see the book properly. Lucy's search got off to a great start when a nice critter invited her to play. Oh, yes, 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 I'd love to join you. Ribbit. Woohoo! But things didn't work out. Oh, she wanted to play, but she made all the water come, come out of the pond. And the frogs went away. I don't blame them. Oh, well, there are plenty of other critters in the forest. It didn't take long for Lucy to find another friendly looking animal. I'll just go up and introduce myself. Okay, so looks like she's introducing herself to a giraffe. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to climb into your breakfast. Munch, munch, munch. That friendship didn't work out either. Oh, the giraffe was not happy that she climbed into his breakfast. Lucy did her best to win over the forest animals. She was helpful. Oh, don't worry. I'll get that nasty smell out of you. <laughs> that poor skunk. She asked lots of questions. So tell me, what's it like to fly? <laughs> the funny thing about this is that ostriches, they don't fly. So the ostrich is a little perturbed. He's upset. Leave me alone. Why do you ask why I don't fly? And she tried to fit in with everyone she met. Oh, she's trying to fit in the bunny hole. And she's trying to grind her teeth on a tree like a beaver to gnaw down the tree. <laughs> But Lucy was starting to feel ridiculous. Oh goodness. She wanted to be a kangaroo, so she put on a kangaroo suit and she tried swimming with the fish. My goodness, Lucy. Just be yourself. You just have to be yourself. She came close to making friends a few times. Thanks for inviting me to lunch. And something always went wrong. Bzz, 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 bzz. Oh. But something always went wrong. Uh, sorry, I ate your house. <laughs> yes, I imagine the bees would be upset for her eating the house. She was just like, oh, it was delicious honey. I don't think she knew how to control herself. you got to control yourself. Lucy couldn't believe how hard it was to make a, a new friend. She was ready to be friends with anyone. Uh, well... 
almost anyone. Squeak, 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 squeak. I think these kids think she's a teddy bear. See, there's a teddy bear here and it's like, it's like they're pretending or thinking that she squeaks like the teddy bear. I don't know. That poor Lucille. Come back here and have fun with me. That's when things got ugly. You don't get any snacks unless you start liking me right now. Oh, she's becoming demanding. You will be my friend. I can wait. <laughs> she's telling this egg that hasn't even hatched. You're going to be my friend. Lucy tried to calm herself down. <gasps> Take a deep breath, Lucy. <sighs> you can do this. You can make a new friend. Just be yourself. Exactly. That's what I said. Yes, Lucille, you need to be yourself. Doesn't anybody want to be my friend? Oh, she looks so sad. This is hopeless. It looked as if Lucy would never find a new friend. Hmm. Would you be her friend, boys and girls? I bet Lucy would love to have you as a friend. And then a funny thing happened. Oh, what's this? What's happening? You see here? Squawk! He's looking around. Oh, he started, he's kind of going the same path she did. So he starts in the pond. Going around here, going through the bushes. He's like almost trying to hide from her. Not quite sure, but he's approached her. Look at that. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Mr. Flamingo, do you want to be friends? Squawk! Squawkity squawk! Oh! Oh my gosh! Are you asking me to be your friend? Squawk! I accept! There, she found a friend. And he found a friend. I like his little bow tie. And that's the story of how these two friends found each other. <laughs> Picnic together, cartwheels, climbing a tree, swimming together, and dancing. The end. Oh, that's such a lovely story. Oh, it's so nice when you make a new friend. But you should never try to make someone be your friend. That's not going to work at all. You should just ask, would you like to be my friend? Or just introduce yourself. Just say, my name is Tammany. And then see where it goes from there. Ask them lots of questions about themselves. If they are interested to know what you want to know, <laughs> let me start over. If you ask them a question about themselves, they'll more than likely want to share with you what they know. All right, boys and girls, if you're looking forward to another story, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell to get a notification every time there's a new story. All right, I look forward to this so much. Bye-bye.